for me, citizenship um, means to belong and to make others belong. So citizenship is being basically part of a group, very large, could be a country or could be simply like a school, right? And uh, citizenship is actually making everything you can do, to do everything you can in order to make sure that you are part of this group and everybody around you feel that is being also accepted as being part of that group. Um, well, what citizenship means to me is almost being a part of something that's bigger than me and almost being involved in a community. And I find you can really thrive within your community. And without my community, I don't think I would be where I was today. So I feel like as a need, me being a citizen, I should give back to the community that helped me get which, where I am today. When I think of citizenship, I think about care for our community, care for our world. And I'm reminded of my favorite quote about education, actually. And I've used this quote to start a number of my classes, but I actually learned it from one of my very favorite teachers when I was in high school. Uh, I had this awesome history teacher named Mr. Ball, a tool ball. And he started his class with this quote from the philosopher Hannah Arendt, who is one of the kind of great philosophers of the 20th century. And she talked a lot about citizenship uh, and her quote about education. I'm going to read it for you because I think it's amazing. It's education is the point at which we decide whether we love the world enough to assume responsibility for it. And by some token, save it from that ruin, which except for renewal, except for the coming of the new and young would be inevitable. I love that. <laughs> I love that quote. To me, citizenship follows right in long, along with that, that being a good citizen should actually come from a great place of love. You have to decide that you love your community and then you should want to take responsibility for that community. Um, citizenship means to me is somebody who plays a bigger role than, than just themselves and makes up something bigger than them. So citizenship means to me to belong or to be a member of a country, maybe a community instead of a whole country. Um, so it also has some responsibilities that I um, hold that I hold closely to as well, which is to follow the rules of the community or the country, to be an active member in your community, and as well as to accept and support the other members that belong to your community. Well, I feel like we cooperate really well. We're a, like a big family and we work well and yeah. I mean, there are many ways for, um, for students and staff to demonstrate citizenship. Um, it can vary from many things, like from basically just picking up uh, garbage from the floor and throwing it away and just simple things such as smiling to each other. Even beyond, like behind the mask, we can actually feel and or see, you know, like uh, the, the, the smile. And that alone can make an impact on others. Well, being better citizens in school, you can join the community clubs, you can be a prefect, volunteer to do scorekeeping, almost anything like that would help. Um, outside of school, you can volunteer at local businesses, which is something that I've taken part in. Um, you can help in fundraiser, fundraisers, go on community uh, runs, such as like the, like the marathons that they do for fundraisers. And yeah, you can just, even like running a little one week camp for little kids, that still helps. I believe that the staff and students of Crestwood uh, demonstrate citizenship first and foremost by uh, taking care of each other in the school as a community. I think that's part of what it is to be a citizen, uh, looking out for one another, supporting each other when uh, when we need support. Um, that's essential. And then it's also sort of being aware of the community around us, the wider community of Toronto, the wider community of Ontario, the wider community of Canada, the wider community of the planet, right? I feel like 
not just one independent person demonstrates um, citizenship. It takes everybody, so all of us together. And like, so everybody, all the teachers teaching, all the students learning, that makes up the set citizenship in the community. And that's what makes us citizens. So the staff and students at Crestwood demonstrate citizenship by being accepting and by being a community that um, has a sense of belonging. So for example, when I started there um, at Crestwood, I just think of how the staff accepted me right away. And it became this community of people that I worked with um, that were encouraging and just as uh, kind as they are to you as students. So the students as well to feel accepted and to feel encouraged by the staff at Crestwood um, is huge. And I think that also plays out into the students being accepting to one another. Inside school, I think like the older kids like can help out the younger kids and like get to know, like let them get to know the school and clean up around the school and outside of the school. It always comes down to one thing is trying. If you stop trying to be a good citizen, if you take it for granted that you are part of the group, so you're good, you are not being a good citizen and you are losing the citizenship. So being a good citizen inside the school is actually caring about the people you go to school with, um, caring about them just as human beings uh, and wanting to make their experience at school better. So like any community, we have obviously in our world, in Canada, in um, Toronto, in Crestwood, we have conflicts and we often decide to follow our own set of rules. So it can be maybe um, selfishly make decisions for our, ourselves, right? And we set rules upon that. So I would say personally, as well as members of, of Crestwood and members of, of Canada, we can, we can change that mindset and decide to make decisions that, um, that recognize the needs of others, recognize how we can better accept and um, be kind to others. We can also make sure that what we're doing considers how we um, are thankful for our citizenship and how we can show that gratitude. Here's what the prefect team thinks about citizenship. Nathan, what do you think when you hear the word citizenship? On Google, it says that citizenship means the status of being a citizen. Well, that's not very useful. Sophie, do you have any other ideas? Well, I think citizenship is about working together with people who have similar mindset to you. Not only that, but to support your peers or anyone around you. In fact, it goes both ways. If you ever need help, feel free to reach out to anyone who's a part of the Crestwood community. What can you do to be a better citizen? You could be honest and trustworthy, follow rules, laws, and respect the property of others. Agreed. I'm very happy to be a part of the Crestwood community, and we all look forward to spending 2021 with this amazing group of people. We hope you enjoyed this little clip about citizenship, and thank you to everyone who took the time to be in this video.